What will I gain from this video? At the end of the video, you will know about the various ways that pathology can change the normal gray scale on a chest x-ray. Previously, we have learned that a normal chest x-ray has a certain gray scale pattern based on tissue density, geometry, interfaces, and overlap. When pathology occurs in the thorax, the pathology causes the normal grayscale of the chest x-ray to change in several ways. A normal gray structure can become too black or too white. Or a normally black structure can become gray or too white. Or a normally white structure can become gray or too black. Here we have an example of a normal chest x-ray. If we focus on the left hemithorax, this is what a normal looks like. In this example here, we see that the left hemithorax is too white. The reason the left hemithorax is white because the left lung is collapsed. On this example here, we see that the left hemithorax is too black. The reason it is too black is because there's air outside of the lung. We will learn more about this in later presentations, but what this patient has is a pneumothorax. And because the heart and the mediastinal structures are shifted to the right side, this is called a tension pneumothorax. The grayscale of the structure can stay the same, but the structure can increase or decrease in size. Here we have an example of a normal. If we focus on the central structures, we can see the normal appearance of the heart. On this example, we see that the heart is grossly enlarged. The normal thoracic aorta lies in this region. In this case, this interface that we are seeing is caused by a grossly dilated aorta in this patient with a thoracic aortic aneurysm. The grayscale of the structure can stay the same, but the structure can be displaced horizontally or vertically. Or the grayscale of the structure can stay the same but the shape of the structure can become distorted. Now let's do some example cases. These are two x-rays of the same patient. If we look on this x-ray, we can identify that within the left side inferiorly, there is an increased density. It's too white when compared to the normal x-ray on the left. The reason for this is because the patient has a left-sided pneumonia. On these two x-rays of the same patient, we see that there's a big difference. On this x-ray, we see this whiteness inferiorly on the right and on the left side, which was not present on the previous examination. The patient has developed bilateral pleural effusions. In this case, we see that it is too black within this hemithorax as compared to the other x-ray, which is normal. The reason for that is because the patient has a pneumothorax. Because the heart and mediastinal structures are shifted to the right, this is classified and called as a tension pneumothorax. So in recap, the abnormalities within the thorax can be classified as too white, too black. The pathology can be too black and too white, and I'll explain how that can occur in a future video.